everybody, Vincent DiLorenzo here with the DiLorenzo Group at Keller Williams Legacy. We've also got Victoria Irby with us today. And Buck. And Buck is here as well. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to the video. Um, we just want to give you a quick market update, what's been happening with the market and a couple of Baltimore City uh, issues. Yeah, so there's this huge talk about a shift that's happening in the market and Vincent's going to explain kind of what that means. So for quite some time, we've been seeing real estate prices going up. Um, it's been selling rel relatively quickly, um, but we're seeing a change. And it's also going into the winter time and a time that rates are going up. So when we look at you know, the sales that happened in September of this year compared to what happened in September last year, sales are down 10%. Um, you know, homes under contract are down 6% as well. Wow. So we're seeing you know, the market definitely cool down quite a bit. And um, although home prices are, are slightly up, it's a marginal amount at this point, and I expect that to cool as well um, as rates continue to go up, we go into winter time, it's just a shifting market at this point. So would you say that winter is coming? Winter is coming, <laughs> that is true. Um, so what does this mean to you know, some of the buyers and sellers out there? It's a good question. Um, if you're looking to put your home on the market, might be a good time to do it. But if you live in Baltimore City, there is a couple key points we wanted to discuss. Oh yeah, mainly about Airbnb or short-term rentals um, and what that kind of means for someone who's been depending on a short-term rental or becoming an investor to do short-term rentals in Baltimore City and how that might not be as possible as you once thought. So current legislation on the table um, is there will be no more, you cannot buy a property at this time and rent it on Airbnb unless it's your primary residence. So, meaning you live in the property and have someone that you're hosting there. Like you have to be present in the property. Correct, yes. So, and here's a key date for you to know. You know, if you're, if you own a property in the city and you're going to be moving in the future, um, if for some reason you can't sell it, you're holding on to it, it might be a good idea to rent it on Airbnb. You really do make additional cash flow renting these properties on Airbnb. In fact, we're in one of our Airbnb units right now. Um, so the key date to know though, however, is at the end of 2018, um, you'll no longer be able to register an investment property um, as a Airbnb rental. And the criteria there is you've had to have owned the property by August 1st, 2018, and had to have rented it at least once on Airbnb by the end of this year. So, you know, if for some reason you plan on turning a property you own now into an Airbnb, you've got a very limited time to actually take action and make sure you rent it on Airbnb. Now, if you currently own an Airbnb, um, you are allowed one property that is grandfathered in. So you don't have to um, completely get rid of your Airbnb if you're hosting one now. Although don't look to get any more in the future because currently it's not possible. So, and we have a little bit of uh, insight on how to negotiate some of these rules, although it's all still pending in the Baltimore City Council. So, you know, please email us or give us a call and we can um, shoot you a link or send you some documents on where the legislation stands right now and help you navigate this. But just a good piece of information to know. Also, if you own an investment property in the city, Baltimore just uh, kind of changed their inspection um, rules. So if you own a property, um, an inspector needs to come in and inspect the property and you have to have it registered with Baltimore City. They're becoming very strict on this. You've got until January 1 of, of uh, 2019 to have your property registered and inspected. These inspections are really quite painless. Um, I just did about 14 of them in two days. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> it was pretty easy um, and you know, they allow you to fix things. So don't feel that, you know, oh, my rental property might not be quite up to par. You can come back and get it re-inspected. Good information now. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. We'd be happy to talk more about these topics with you. Thanks so much. Have a good day.